In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can make money online promoting Amazon affiliate products with no website. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you want to pick a niche. A niche is a subject area, it's a focus, it's a, a an area that you're going to create content. Um, if you can't figure out, if you're struggling to find out exactly what a niche is, Basically, a niche can be anything. It can be uh, hardware, it can be computers, it can be software, it can be pens, it can be microphones. If, if you're having problems, if you can't think of a niche that you want to create content around, look around the room. Look around the room and see what you have uh, purchased recently. Um, also, if that doesn't work, look up something that you have done a lot of research in. For example, I had purchased, a, it's called a, a NAS device. Basically, it's, it's bulk storage. It's like a server. I had done a lot of research trying to figure out all sorts of information. Uh, you could actually create a ton of information to helping people uh, solving a problem because you're going to be answering questions and fulfilling need and adding value. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a niche. The second thing that you want to do is you want to choose a platform. Now a platform is where you're going to create content. If you don't have your own website, no problem. There are other ways that you can go about making money online with Amazon Associates, which is the affiliate program without a website. You can use YouTube as I'm doing now, providing great content. Basically what you do is you probably want to just add in your affiliate links at below the content. Um, you could also use various social media. You could use LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, any type of social media out there, you could use that as your platform. But when you're creating uh, content and you're choosing a platform, you want to choose a platform where your target audience is going to be. For example, if I'm targeting, let's say, a woodworking niche, I, I want to create a, a bunch of content around woodworking, I can assume that my audience is either going to be on Facebook or on Twitter. If you do a little bit of research, you look in different forums, you look at different uh, Facebook groups, you look at different hashtags, you can easily find your target audience. It's very important that you pick a, a platform that has your target audience or else you're going to struggle to find success. The third step is to do a little bit of keyword research. Now basically what keyword research is, is you're finding out the questions and concerns that, that customers are having. Just like you came to this video because you wanted to figure out how to uh, get into making money online with Amazon uh, without a website, People are searching different things every single day. For example, if if you were targeting um, underwater basket weavers, they're going to ha they're going to ask questions like, "What type of snorkeling device do I need? Is there special training?" You want to go out there and do a little bit of keyword research in order to find out what your target audience is searching for. Once you are able to to do a lot of keyword research or find some topics to create content about, that's when you can move on to the next step. But before you do that, you want to do a few different ways. You want to do a little a few different ways of keyword research. You can do what's called alphabet soup. Basically what that is is you go on Google and you can type in underwater basket weaving A and see what comes up. The cool thing with Google and even Yahoo, yeah, the cool thing with Google and even YouTube is they have a, an auto suggest or an auto fill. So if you just start typing in words Google and YouTube will try and guess what you're what you're searching for. And so you could type in underwater basket weaving A and you'll get a bunch of search results. From there, you can determine if it's something that you want to create content with or if you want to move on to the next letter. So the first way is alphabet soup. The second way is a cool little website that I, I, I've mentioned before. It's called Answer the Public. Basically, with Answer the Public, you just go in there and you type in a, a, a word or a phrase our phrase would be underwater basket weaving, and it'll return results of what people have been searching for. It'll give you, you know, 300 different results um, of what people are searching for. For example, it'll say underwater basket weaving versus pool basket weaving. It'll have a bunch of different results that people are searching for. You can take those those queries, those terms, and then put them into Google and see if people are actually searching and the type of content that returns. So a second great way is answer the public. If you want to skip some of the, the heartache and the trial and error with Alphabet Soup and Answer the Public, you can do paid research. There are a number of different websites out there that will charge you a fee ranging on the website uh, to do the research for you. For example, Ahrefs is a website that will charge you a monthly fee in order to spit back or return search results of what people are searching for. Another way is to do what's called hashtag search. So you could go to Twitter and you could do hashtag or you could go to the search bar in Twitter and you could do hashtag 
underwater and see what comes back or underwater basket weaving and see what comes back. These are great ways to, to do a little bit of keyword research to find out exactly what your customers are searching for. It is very important when you're doing research and you're planning to create content to create content on what people are searching for versus on what you want them to know. Because that could be two very different things. And if they're two very different things, you're not gonna have a customer. So that's the, that, that is uh, very important. It's keyword research. The next step is to create helpful content based on your keyword research. So now that you've gone, you've done the alphabet, now that you've done alphabet soup or that you have done uh, answer the public, the next step is to create helpful information answering the questions. So one question could be, how long does it take to become an expert in underwater basket weaving? You're going to, using the platform that you've decided on, you're going to create helpful content and say, well, this is how long it usually takes someone to learn and become a master in underwater basket weaving. You wanna do this over and over and over again until you, you get traffic. Now, because you're, you're a content creator, it usually takes you a little bit longer unless you, you choose to do paid advertising. It can take a little while before you start to gain traction, you start to gain, gain steam. That's okay. In addition to answering questions, you can do product reviews, but I wouldn't focus solely on pro product reviews. You can also do unboxings. People love watching other people unbox things. It's a weird obsession. I don't know why, but there are thousands of unboxing videos on YouTube. You could do one as well. Uh, you could talk about the product strength. So let's say you are doing a a video on this um, this um, this lighting here. You could talk about the strengths and weaknesses. The strengths is that it comes with two different type of filters. The weaknesses, the uh, battery is sold separately. So you could do a number of videos on strengths and weaknesses. You could just come up with different ideas based on your keyword research and create helpful content. The next step that you want to do after you create tons of helpful content is you want to grab your affiliate link from Amazon and you want to place it in your platform. So for example, if you are using YouTube as your platform, you get your affiliate links and you can get a shortened link, you can get a full length, I recommend a shortened link, and put it right in the description. You want to direct people to the link. Say, hey, click the link in the description to buy this lighting kit. You want to make sure you let them know that the that that link is going to go to Amazon, a lighting kit on Amazon, so that they know and understand what they're going to. You also want to let the, let them know that you are an affiliate for a product or service. It can be directly in the comment, or you can say it out loud. So let's recap real quick. The first thing you want to do is you want to pick a niche. A niche is something that you want to talk about. The second step is to create a the second step is to choose a platform. The platform can be YouTube, it can be social media, it can be whatever you want it to do. It can actually be free blog hosting sites like Medium. The third step after that is keyword research. Keyword research is going to be pivotal. And it actually, keyword, keyword research is a little bit different based on the platform that you use, so be cognizant of that. After that, you want to create helpful content and you want to create a lot of it. You will need to create 30 pieces of content at minimum before you gain traction. The 30 is not a hard and fast rule, but I can tell you that 10 pieces of content probably won't get it done. 20 pieces of content may get it done depending on how well you do your keyword research, but you want to shoot for 30 and above. In addition, you want to keep this process up. You want to keep uh, doing keyword research. You want to keep creating helpful content over and over again until you found the level of success that you want. Um, and then what I would actually do is eventually, if you have no money, eventually you start making money, I would invest in a website. The reason why it's very important to have a website is because you need to have your own space on the internet. One of the drawbacks to not having your own website is people can kick you off of their platform at a moment's notice. Uh, in 10 minutes, I could be kicked off of YouTube permanently and I'd lo lose all my videos. Thankfully, I have all my videos saved locally and I have my own website people can find me at. But you want to consider getting your own website eventually. If you can't afford it right now, I understand that. Money can be a tight, can be tight. The good thing is, is Amazon, you can start for free. But you should eventually consider, if you want to grow your business, if you're serious about affiliate marketing and if you're serious about affiliate marketing with Amazon, you need a website. So that's something that should be on your to-do to -do list as soon as you start making some money. If you want to know everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click that first link in the description. It will take you to a page where you enter in your email address 
In return, you'll get a free email marketing guide. It's a free PDF for you to keep. But click that first link in the description if you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing.